next on the list here we have um detailed pictures of the travis scott and nike collab this is the what this is the third iteration or fourth or fifth don't know but it's a lot travis has done a lot of nikes with um he's done a lot of nike shoes so far and to be honest i don't think i would wear every single one but i have to say he's what i've got i'll probably wear the majority of them it's probably one or two that i'm probably not a fan of at all but you know for as nike collaborations go considering he's a hip-hop artist who you know usually those kind of guys don't really give a shit no so don't give a shit about shoes but they're into shoes but you know they're not really into sneakers that way they just like to wear cool stuff so it's pretty hard for them to kind of translate that idea of wearing cool stuff into doing a good design but travis seems to be really into it he obviously he takes his merch really seriously you see what he does with his live shows and his album art and his video directions so shouldn't be no surprise but still it's good to see it in actual real life actuality and maybe this is an interesting um, decision for him to take on the model of the 270 because number one it's probably the most worn shoe um, in the hood with like Romanian mums and stuff like that they love wearing a 270 I'm not sure why maybe because of the big bubble and shit but it's really popular with like you know kind of Romanian immigrants that live around the area that I live in number two it's not very popular right with like the hipster hype kids I don't really think so I think when they first dropped and they had some really nice OG sort of like nike what what's that shoe is it 97 not 97 maybe 92 it had the kind of a similar sort of vibe as the mx 92 i think that's called st um with the sort of like bubble on it um some of the earlier colors that came out that are like teal grape you know some really nice classic sort of like air max colorways with like three colors on it white a gray and whatever kind of contrast they look really cool but they didn't really seem to catch on especially because i think a lot of these problems come from the fact that there is no crooked tongue substitute right crooked tongues forum was really good because it was a way for people like myself who aren't necess- who wouldn't necessarily class themselves as hype beast because that's you know you, you don't want to ever be known as a hype beast that's a super wanky term and you wouldn't also want to be known as somebody as a sneakerhead right you somewhere in between where you just buy stuff that you like right shoes wise you might be just have an interest in buying trainers and i think those type of guys would have appreciated 270 more than the kids nowadays because they just don't care about those models until their favorite rapper or artist or you know have um what do you call it uh public figure on instagram wears them they don't care they just want to see the coolest thing those guys are wearing on their feet and if it's not that they're not going to do it so credit to travis for picking it or for nike for proposing it and for travis for agreeing to do it because i still think it's a big risk to do this to do his you know take his kind of code and apply it to a 270 again it's not the most popular model it's not a model people have been tearing down you know the the barricades of stores to kind of get their hands on so for him to kind of like you know add his little touch to it in order to bring it to a new customer base is cool i like what he's done with it and i think if anything it might be my favorite of what the work that travis has done with nike just because it's a bit different from everything else the air force ones the jordans they have to be expected right he could have done that anytime in his career but i think the 270s are a really good um summation of where he is now as an artist in my opinion so this is the 270 here some hype beast news it says travis scott and nike and max 270 receives a closer look and a release update of release date so yeah i think they were meant to release earlier than the year right then they got scrapped i'm not sure if it's because of the lockdown or because of something that's happened but they were meant to release earlier i'm gonna say march or something then they've got pushed back pushed back again until i think they released in the end of the month so may 29th or something i think they're coming out but these are some um, extra pictures for them so you've got a nice sort of like suede mudguard i'm assuming suede or new buck you've got this interesting application here on the upper which i'm sure is different from the other 270s i'm sure normal 270s aren't like this at the top and you've got this nice little bit of uh what do you call that pile right pile on the on the here with the ascent with the nike ascent midsole again in this creamy rusticy color which is kind of been his staple so far and some nice pops of red again which i mentioned previously the other shoe might have been the stray rats at new balance there's been a lot of like red accents on laces or red laces themselves so that's a big thing happening in the last few years maybe it's a nod to the outdoorsman's tour sort of stuff but i'm not too sure but i think they look really cool there and of course on the instep and it's got a nice little pull tab as well there maybe carrying on from the stuff he's done with jordan is that a pull tab there i'm sure me 
I'm not sure if that is a pull tab, right? It must be a pull tab. So the laces maybe loop through and you can pull and tab it on there. Might be a little nod to what Travis likes himself, right? Because he doesn't strike me as somebody that would take time to like, do his laces. He seems like he seems like the kind of guy that you know, stamps his feet into shoes. So maybe that's why that hole comes in. He doesn't do his laces, so he likes to have the ability to just pull them up. I like this sort of like mesh net thing on the inside as well. And yeah, man, I think the whole outer looks interesting. Like I said, I'm not too sure if this is a, a a new thing, but I think this whole wave stuff is fairly new in what Travis has done. I'm pretty sure most 270s have got like a mesh thing. And of course, you've got this nice little uh, swoosh here on the front of the mud guard. Reminds me of some old school Atmos Air Max one. So this looks really, really beautiful, to be fair. Clear outsole as well on the outside. It looks really nice. And then you've got another, is this another 270 that's been made, right? Is that another 270 or what is that? I'm not too sure what that second model is, but the second model looks like it's been turned completely inside out or it's been made non-linear. LL sort of vibe. But let's see what it says in the article. It says, after months of teasers, including a rumour release date, over a month ago, the Travis Scott take on an Air Max 270 React sneaker is finally set to release. The sneaker is set to make part of the Cactus Trails collection alongside a range of military inspired apparel that recently made its debut. The multi texture sneaker references his outdoor influence and Scott's passion for the vintage clothing through its polar fleece collar and the use of tint of sulfur dye across the upper midsole air unit. Other features include the ACG inspired pops of color alongside the custom tongue tab, okay, which we mentioned before, lace lock, an additional swoosh on the sh on the toe, okay, cool. That's an additional thing you put on the front. Yeah, that's really cool. The C finishing off the designs, cactus jack logo stitched on the cross uh, heel tabs. In addition to the cactus trails release, Travis Scott and Nike also linked up a special kids version of the shoe. Okay, this is the kids version. Then I'm assuming that one there. Maybe I don't know. Let's see, kids version of the shoe. Um, sporting similar palette and the sneakers also features a cactus jack cross on the tongue the, the, take a closer look at the sneakers in the gallery below you can also expect Travis Scott 272 in Repsol on May 29th thank you Repsol May 29th for more information below so you got that guy I'm not sure what his name is that dude that does all the videos the reviews of shoes online he's got like a monotone voice he's modelling them um, yeah so you got that first trail there he ties his shoes a bit shit to be fair his, his drop is a bit dead so I'm not going to take my impression of what he's wearing but I like the apparel I think the apparel looks really nice as well actually and again like I said like that nice clear sole is banging actually on those but yeah it's hard to kind of see whether or not these look good on him because he doesn't look the best in trainers does he no offence to the lad and then you've got another clip here from Travis Scott's Instagram page. It says trail guide named Jack costume, which is pretty cool. You got the shirt, sweatshirts and pants. I love that with the massive pockets on the front. Perfect for any person that wants to go and hit those LA trails or wherever you may live. So yeah, I like them. Man. I think again, like I said, maybe my favorite of the Travis collab, just because it's a bit more of a risk um, involved in them. They're a little bit more interesting to look at. And again, they kind of serve my niche as a sneakerhead where I kind of want my special collaborations to either take an existing silhouette and elevate it or take a silhouette that no one's taken the taking any notice of and really bring it to the forefront i think that's what most people in that position should be doing but i understand you know if you want to just you know get the low-hanging fruit or just you know make sure you don't fuck up and make any mistakes because there is a lot of pressure i'm assuming to do a collaboration as well you don't want to get it wrong so if you don't want to get it wrong you probably have in your rights to pick an air force one pick a jordan one whatever it may be right and just kind of get that out of the way but if you really want to have a legacy and go down in history you need to kind of get out of that zone and flex your muscles and pick a shoe that isn't really looked upon that well to kind of bring back and show the kids that hey there's other stuff in the nike wanted to check out but yeah i like these man i really, really like these i think they look banging uh may 29th let's see if i'm lucky maybe most more likely than not i'm probably gonna catch a big fat l but you never know it you never bloody know